Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of the Inspiration Road, which is brought to you by myself, Thomas Malonda and Roger Scare. On this episode, we bring you an amazing person. I'm sure that you will love her story and I hope that it will inspire you to be your best version. But before we jump into that, please remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and also go to YouTube and subscribe to our channel, which is Inspiration Road. So, we have an amazing talent, a singer, a songwriter, based in Kampala, Uganda, who came on the scene in 2015 and participated and also reached the final stage of the Coca-Cola Rated Next competition. For those of you who follow such competitions, you know that for one to reach such uh, stages, you gotta be good at what you do. Trust me, she's super amazing. We're so happy to have you on Inspiration Road Tracing. Thank you so much. I'm like so super freaking excited. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Thomas. I appreciate it. So there are quite a number of people who have talents like you do. I don't know if you know that you have a great talent. Uh, I do. I do. I do. So quite a number of people have talents like you do, yeah. but they've not discovered them yet. I don't know how you might discover your talent, if I thought it was an environment that you used to spend time in, or you went ahead to search within yourself. But whatever it is, how did you come to notice that you have that amazing talent? Uh, well, it all, it, 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 uh, it all began in my primary. Uh, I've, I've grown up in a family that knows music, and we love music. So I figured I could sing in my primary four. I used to sing along to Makoma, if, uh, if you remember Makoma, yeah. to Helen Baylor, Sandy Patti, CC Winans, and I used to perform every parade. So I would like come and mime, you know. And then later, my auntie realized I could sing, and she quickly told my mom. And I think it also just depends on the environment that you're brought up in. Okay, so because for us we are a musical family, yeah. so that's how I kind of sort of uh, uh, figured out I could sing. So what advice do you have for somebody out there who has not noticed that talent? They could be great singers, maybe they can play instruments, but they've not found that uh, out yet. Do they have to go to particular places to discover that or you have a certain kind of advice you can pass on to them? Well. I think I think I think it all begins with uh, uh, with uh, it all begins with us as parents. I'm a mom, so that's why I say to us as parents, yeah. we need to nurture our children uh, from when they're still young, because I mean, there's no way a child is gonna know that they can sing if they've not sung yet. So I mean, I don't know how best I can explain it. But if you feel like you can sing and maybe you love music, go to bands, go to band nights, ask for, ask them if you can do one or two songs. Slowly by slowly you'll pick up. There's no need to be afraid. There's no need to be scared because music is amazing, right? Huh? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. talk about fear as an aspect that stops people from achieving their greatness. Mm -hmm. I know some people who have really good talents like you do, yeah. but they are stopped by what people might say, what people might think about it. And there's that thing that always stops them from doing what they do. Mm -hmm. For you, what's your what then? I don't think I don't think there's um I, I think there's nothing that should stop you from doing whatever you want. Music is something that most my mom my mom my mom uh didn't want me to do music in the beginning. Mm -hmm. She people have this perception, this mindset that everyone that sings we are mm -hmm. in quotes. Okay. They think we, not not I think, but most people think mm. that we that sing have nothing else to do. Mm. But I mean, we just we just we just sing because maybe we want the money or something, or uh, we just do it out of I don't know. People have weird weird mindsets. To hell with all that stuff. If you know how to sing, sing. If you want to sing, sing. I mean, parents should not stop their children from doing what they love most. My mom did that, but it failed, and now. Honestly, and now she's one of the people that call me, oh, hi, my daughter, uh, I need 10,000, and I mean, because music makes me the money. Otherwise, if it was not for music, I would not be making money, and it's a fact. Mm. Yeah. So, 
gathering from what <coughs> you said, fear should not really be an issue for anyone who wants to do anything no. in life. No, if you want something, go for it. Don't waste time. Don't, okay, yes, think twice, mm -hmm. but don't waste time. Because each minute you waste, you, it could even be a year, then two years could go by, three years could go by, and you'll still not be doing what you love the most. Why would you be wasting that much time mm -hmm. thinking about something? If you want something, just go for it. Me, I'm personally a go-getter. So if I want something, I, I go for it. If I like a guy, I'm like, yo, I like you. <laughs> and then, yes, okay. yeah. So you have established yourself in the business world yeah. as housekeepers, UG, and also yes. in the talent world. So tell us, um, what is your opinion on learning on the job? Does someone really have to attain a skill to do what you do? Or to do anything in life, they really have to attain a skill to do that? All you can learn on the job. Um, <clears throat> learning on the job is a bit tricky, but I think it's also a good way of giving someone a chance because I believe in giving people chances. As long as you you uh, uh, what you do is you how do I call it? Make research. Oh, okay. Learn on the, thank you so much. Don't come green. I mean, make research. You know what to do. I mean, that's why there is internet. There's so many millennials out there that have smartphones, mm -hmm. but they don't use them the right way. Mm -hmm. Go online, you make your research, fine, learning on the job is, is hard, but it's, it's also a good way of, uh, 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 of um, giving someone a chance to, you know, expand their knowledge and, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I, 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 don't, I don't see why, Assume I'm going to assume I'm going to go for a job interview, but they want uh, there's usually there's usually that part where they say someone has got to have an experience of at least three years. How is someone going to have an experience of three years if you've not given them a shot? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, why why do people make it so hard? I don't find that necessary. Give someone a chance. I I personally got to learn on uh, on the job. In 2012, 2012, I think 2012, 2011, one of the two years, I was working at Photo Artistic, mm -hmm. uh, the studio, and I learned how to use the camera for uh, when I was there. Oh, Honestly yeah. speaking, I did not know anything. anything about the camera. My boss taught me how to use it, and then I started officially taking photos there. So I even started going in field. That is how you learn. Otherwise, if you don't give someone a chance, there's no way they're going to be able to learn anything. So I personally think learning on the job is good, but make your research, grow, expand your knowledge on whatever you're doing. So that's really an interesting aspect. <coughs> so you advise that someone should have a skill in what they're going to do, teach themselves about yes. the aspects they want to delve into. Exactly. Okay. Yes. So someone is out there and wants to start a business, mm -hmm. and they really have to do their homework, like you said read about the land, read about this and this and that, learn the skill, mm -hmm. all that. I think, yeah, like I said, I mean, it's important. You have to do your homework before you, I don't know, I don't know if I'm answering your question right, yeah. but I think you have to do your homework. This, I don't know, obviously I can answer the question, but I think I had answered it already, but I mean, <laughs> yeah, do your homework. That is all I can say. Use the internet well, talk to people. Uh, talk to people that are in the same uh, in the same job that you are taking on. Okay, I mean, learn, be friends with them. They could teach you a thing or two. It's it's as simple as that. Don't make it so. So speaking about housekeepers UJ, I gotta confess I began following you, not housekeepers, but uh, your music career oh, yeah. a year back. And the day when I noticed that you have that company, actually it was a video that you recorded on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And I was like, damn, I cannot be this the lady I saw on stage singing. And the boldness that you had as mm -hmm. you say that this is my business. I'm proud of it. Yeah. There are quite a number of people out there mm -hmm. who fear to <laughs> venture into side hustles, mm -hmm. just like you do. Mm -hmm. And when you ask them, why wouldn't you? They'll be like, how would the public perceive me? But before you go into that, like, what is the story behind Housekeepers UG? Why it? Why not any other venture? 
The housekeeper's UG is something that I have always wanted to do ever since. I have a thing, a hygiene thing. <laughs> I I I love I love it when my home is clean. I am very picky. Mm -hmm. Like even if I'm to go visit a friend and your bathroom is like dirty, I would not use it. I would hold back. You know, I am a very very picky person when it comes to hygiene. So, I felt like uh, and also with the job that I do, uh music, we do gigs most of the times and uh I mean we are always busy and like when you get that free time, you always just want to rest. You just want that me time. You just want to be alone. You don't want anything to disturb. You can't start doing housework. I mean, sometimes you're tired. So I was like, eh. okay. I have people around by in, in my circle. Yeah. They do music. Why don't I? Uh, why don't I? Why don't I exploit this? I don't know if I'm using the right word by saying exploit, <laughs> but why don't I try to offer a service mm -hmm. to these people so that they can have enough rest? Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's something for something. Yeah. I'm giving them what they want, they're giving me the money. Mm -hmm. So, um, I personally love housekeeping. Yeah, I love cleaning. I love seeing my place hygienic and all that. Uh, I hate dust. Yeah. <laughs> so like I clean my home all the time, every day. I'm being honest with you. I clean it every day. Even if you had to come to my home, it was like super clean. Squeaky I'm being, clean. Yes, squeaky clean. I am very, 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 very picky with uh, with uh, like you know things and stuff. So I I decided to do the housekeeper's UG because I wanted to be I wanted to be able to give these people something different. <laughs> You get someone, Angel is a young way. You only not make a mutual. It was a big card. Do you know what they'll do? They'll wash your clothes fine. Okay. But sometimes they're not what? Clean. Yeah. Fine. After washing your clothes, so what? What happens? They'll leave your basins there. They'll leave your sandals or your shoes, your dirty shoes to yourself. You've paid them money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They'll still leave everything there at least. Now, for us, for us, what we do or what I do with the housekeepers, UG, is that we try to offer a little bit more yeah. for less. So we won't just come and wash your clothes. We'll give you something else. Okay. Uh, say if we decide to do your laundry, we'll be like, okay, at least let's help you mop the what? Of the house. Mm -hmm. Some people, I mean, some people are like really tired and they don't have the energy to mop. I mean, after doing your, after doing the laundry, at least, yeah. at least something small. I mean, it won't cut your hands off. Mm -hmm. Just get a rug, mop the, mop the client's house. I mean, give them, some, make them feel like, make them feel happy, make them feel good about where they're putting their money. Yeah, you understand. So that's why I decided to do the housekeeper's UG and I've been able to have people I work with. They're very, very good. And I'm glad I've been able to offer this service to so many people out there that need it. Yeah. Not just people within my circle, yeah. but even now it's growing to people outside my circle. So it's uh, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend, which is a good thing. I love the concept you hinted on of you thought of bringing a service to people. Mm -hmm. You didn't, because many times, actually for millennials, they'll say that, I want to start this to make money. Oh. <laughs> so they don't know that money is actually a reward that comes after mm -hmm. service is put yeah. across. Mm -hmm. I love that mentality of service. Like, yeah. have you gone into mentoring to be told that, hey, this is the average <laughs> should take, like, where does this come from? I love what I do. I'm being very honest with you. I, there's no better way I can put it. But I think it's just the passion that drives me, okay? And like I told you earlier about me having that thing about hygiene. Yeah. I think it just kind of like sort of pushes me to offer the same mm -hmm. service to these people, to our clients and all that. I mean, I would want someone, someone's home to be as clean as mine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So whenever we're offering this service, we try to, to, to uh, we try to, uh, how can I put it? It's more like your home is our priority and yeah. that is our vision. That is our motto. We believe that 
your home is always our priority. Each time we are there, yeah. we shall treat your home like the way we treat ours. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> there's an interesting concept called public opinion. Yeah. That I believe is also first before, mm -hmm. especially in your field where you come from the stage <laughs> straight to the house. Yeah. <laughs> and um, during this COVID pandemic, it has really brought the dust on top of the carpet by mm -hmm. some celebrities being having have nothing to eat and they come out yeah. and be like, please give me some money, donate yeah. something. Yeah. And you have shown that there is a lot more to do than just doing office work and singing and being famous. Mm -hmm. So what would your advice be to people who are being stopped by public opinion to do what they want to do? Okay, y'all should stop that. Y'all should stop that. It's not a nice thing if you want housekeepers in uh, Feb, early Feb, and I got a lot of criticism from people, even mm -hmm. my own friends, yeah. and some of them were like, how can you do such a job? Mm -hmm. What is wrong with my job? <laughs> For heaven's sake. Mm. No, I am sorry, but what in the heavens is wrong with what I do? Mm. I honestly, I don't see anything wrong with it. This whole public opinion thing should stop. Do whatever you have to do to get that money. I'm telling the truth. You're going to go broke mm. if you keep listening to what people have to say about you. I mean, as long as something is putting food on your table those That's people that are talking so like i was saying mm -hmm. fine i can go offset and after i go offset i get a client hi tracy uh, are you guys busy next week on monday i would love to book you uh, i need your services at my home mm -hmm. so why why don't you like i feel like for me personally that makes me very happy mm -hmm. when i have something i call my own yeah. okay mm -hmm. i mean fine i make money in music yes I have my gigs, my regulars, I perform at weddings and all that, but at least I have something that I call mine. Yes. yes. So that silly mentality, that silly mindset that so, so many millennials have should so, stop. And interestingly, you talked about um, a very interesting concept called yeah. um, doing more than you paid for. Yeah. So I, there's a guy called Les Brown. I don't know if you've been watching some of his videos. No, not exactly. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> so he talks about that concept, how he was employed and mm -hmm. just volunteering, but mm. he would be there before anyone mm -hmm. and leave after everyone has left. Wow. Mm -hmm. And he talked about it. Um, some people are really paid to do laundry and the little shoes that. Yeah. So what your advice in relation to that, doing more than you paid for to the millennials specifically? Um, I mean, if you love your job. I don't know. Personally, this money about others. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Man, this is my business. Mm -hmm, all right. I don't joke around with it. I don't joke around with my clients. Because if you take a client for granted, you never know. I mean, why would I take you for granted? And yet you are the same person who's going to tell someone else about me and my business. Mm -hmm. That is why we, the housekeepers, offer, we try to offer a lot more for less. You get my point. Yeah, I mean, we're trying to we give something for something, but we want our clients to be happy. You know, we don't want to leave them sad. They'll be like, You know, these things make them feel bad. I'm being very honest. That means they make them feel bad. You want so at least if someone has paid, even if it's like 30,000 to wash, at least, at least clean their shoes, baby. Please, it would be nice. It makes them feel you know, appreciated and it makes them feel good. And they'll be like, come on, let me call the housekeepers yeah. instead of calling Mama Gundi, you understand? Yeah. So that is what makes us different as the housekeepers, UG. Yeah. How do you balance housekeepers, UG and the music career? Mm, it's tough, yes. But, I mean, when you have something, you always try to find a way to make things work. Mm. Yeah, so... It, it's tough. I don't know how best I can answer that. It's tough because the incidents when I get a client, or we get a, we get clients, and clients are very very specific, by the way, mm -hmm. and that person would specifically want you. Yeah. But you have a wedding to attend, to perform at, and you can't be available. Mm -hmm. But you're like, you know what? I can send you someone, and they're like, no. I want you. Yeah. Oh, that makes it so hard. So you have to make them wait. 
and maybe push the schedule say to a Monday, but sometimes you're busy and what. But I mean, when you have something going on, you always have to find a way of making it work. You always have to balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So besides that challenge, which other challenges have you found? both in the music industry and also as housekeepers UG to reach where you are because I know that there are quite a number of hurdles yeah. that people go through and actually ladies I think face it rough mm -hmm. than guys mm -hmm. so how has it been for you? Has it been smooth mm -mm. or you face <laughs> challenges? Yo, man, <laughs> yo, <laughs> shut it, man <laughs> I see where you're going but yes and you're right for ladies it is it's it's uh you guy if i speak man <laughs> okay the fact is that it's tough mm -hmm. and every business has got its challenges but you just need to find a way of making things work so i've had <laughs> i've had challenges yes of men making advances at me yeah. mm -hmm. but it's understandable mm -hmm. because men are men yeah. <laughs> men have to make advances but it's going to be upon you to either say yes yeah. or no. You either give in or not. So didn't it cost you at a particular time when you say no? When they want when they wanted the yes. Yeah yeah it did cost me. I remember is that one time but I don't want to talk about it now. It's okay. Yeah it's okay. but it, it cost me because this person stopped working with me and it kind of hurt. But yes. I'm like nah, it's all good, it's chill. So I mean if you wanted that and I was not able to give you that I mean, you can't get it from someone else. Mm -hmm. Why does it have to be me? Yeah. Someone you work with. Can't we try to maintain a strictly work relationship? I mean, people should stop that thing of wanting to... Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. No. No, 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 no. So no, no. for millennials out there, ladies specifically, who face such a challenge, mm -hmm. do you tell them to quit on that particular opportunity? How can they go about it? based on the experience that you've had? You know what? I think for everyone, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what everyone else, uh, everyone else out there goes through. Yeah. But let me just say this. Sure. Do what you have to do, man. I'm not going to stop anyone from doing whatever they want to do. I won't. Mm -hmm. But you need to know, these things have what? Thank you. So be smart enough. If, I mean, be smart enough with doing whatever you want to do. If you want to say yes and give it to that guy, do it. If it is for the best, do it. But just, just keep in mind that everything has got a repercussion. Mm -hmm. So you'll do it now and keep whatever job you have to keep. It, will, it could even just be for one year. Then boom, you lose your job. Yeah. So why did you even do it in the first place? So. Think twice, do what you have to do. If you want to sleep around, you sleep. That is your life. Mm -hmm. money. But me personally, I yeah. would not do that. So for the millennials out there, please, your body is your temple. Don't let no man make advances on you just for a mere job. You can always get something else to do. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not like it's the only job in the world. There's so many other things you can do. Yeah. 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 So it could be paying one million, yes, you could get another job another job that pays uh, 500,000, but as long as you're happy and as long as no one is using you mm. to, 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 you know, to give you something in return. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, I would love you to, you see you have a business that is really running, house, Housekeepers UG, and yes. I would love that you give some business tips for people who have startups. Okay. Yeah, how do they go about with their businesses? Like, you've had yours for quite a long time now. Yeah. How have you consolidated yourself in that realm for that long? How can they do it like you or even better than you? Um, first of all, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Figure out what you want to do in the beginning. Yeah. Once you've figured it out, look for the problems that are in that business. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. When you figure out the problems in that business, Start a business and solve those problems. Now, yes. So it would be a very good thing. Plus, people need to learn to venture into something that they see themselves doing for a much longer time. Mm. Don't do something that is going to be short-lived. Mm. 
you get my point. Do something mm-hmm. that is going to, you know, you could go for years and do something that you, uh, that even if you're unavailable, it can still it, go. It on. can still run without you. Yeah. Because yeah. now me, I can still sit home and decide that today I'm not going anywhere. Mm-hmm. So the client will be like, hi, hi, uh, can you be available? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, can I send you someone? It's okay. The person goes. Mm-hmm. You get. So you just need to know what to venture in. Um, sometimes you don't have to have a lot of capital. It is a mindset that so many people have. Yeah. It's, it's actually a mindset I also had in the beginning. I was like, oh, I don't have money. Do you know how much I started with? <laughs> I think I began with about 35 or 40,000. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I had about 35 or 40,000. I bought gloves. Mm-hmm. I bought an apron. Mm-hmm. Uh, I bought a uh, happy about uh, <laughs> I know I didn't buy liquid soap then because I was limited on cash, oh, okay. so I just bought something that I could begin with. Yeah. So mm. I bought two pairs of gloves. Mm. I was in like a down there, <laughs> two pairs of gloves. <laughs> uh, I bought some happy and an apron, and I don't know, I think that was it for the start, mm. and that's what I began with. Yeah. So as time goes on, when you get even if it's like 10,000, yeah. invest it in the business, get something yeah. else mm. like that. Mm. So I believe. Venture into something that you see yourself running for a long time. Yeah, for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, do something you love. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make sense doing something you don't love. And you're mm-hmm. working on it. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Do something you have passion for. Yeah. I love housekeeping. I'm being very honest with you. I mm-hmm. love keeping people's houses clean, just like I keep my house clean. Mm-hmm. So it gives me pleasure. Mm-hmm. Cleaning mm-hmm. someone's house. I'm being very honest. I have no problem with that. Yeah. I would get my spray, my pledge, dust your TV, get my happy, clean your toilet, mm. and I have, some people have a problem with it. Mm. Yeah, but I personally don't have a problem with it. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. I'm so, not, yeah. why did you drop the course you pursued at university? Mm. Well, and do you regret that decision? Well, I, I, I don't say I, dro- I, I dropped it. <laughs> A lot happened while I was at uh, campus. I wasn't able to finish school. My mom, my mom didn't have the finances, so I decided to take a dead year. But even after the dead year, she still didn't have the finances to get me through school. And that is the period I was working at Photo Artistic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I was like, you know what, I have a job. So since mommy doesn't have money, let me just keep working. I was earning 200K at the time. <laughs> oh, God. I was earning 200,000 at the moment, and it was not enough to get me, I, I mean, I was working from Monday to Sunday. Mm. Mommy didn't have money. Yeah. But I would say that that course that I did, I, since I, though I wasn't about to finish it, it sort of helped me, because I was doing a project planning and entrepreneurship. Mm. Yeah. So now that I'm into business, I could use the little knowledge that I got from school yeah. and apply it here. Yeah. So. Interesting. Yeah. So, yeah. how can people out there who are watching you get to know about housekeepers? How can they contact you and access your services? Yes. Yeah. Um, we have a Facebook page. Yeah, for students, we have a Facebook page. Uh, it is under the Housekeepers UG, and our contacts are there as well. Our email. But I would read them out for you, if possible. So you can reach us on 0759-788-281 and WhatsApp us on 0797-342-080. Or you can email us at housekeepers uh, at housekeepers at gmail.com. Uh, housekeepers, H-S-E, then keepers at gmail.com. But for more details, you can please visit the Facebook page because everything you need to know is probably there. Yeah. I'm not quite sure if I'm giving enough detailed information. But yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. So um, our dear viewers, do not forget to find the audio version of this on the Podbean or any podcast network. Just go to either Spotify or Podbean or anywhere and type in Inspiration Root. You'll find the audio version and the video on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Last words from you, Tracy. Mm. Last words from me to you. To oh, to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I, to I know. I thought, watching you I right mean, now. Well, uh, for, some, for, for a minute I felt loved. I thought you made oh. last words from me to you. Anyway, uh, 
last words from me to the millennials out there. You guys are super awesome and you've grown up in such a beautiful generation. Use it, exploit whatever, whatever is there. You guys have the internet. You've grown up in a generation where there is internet. Market your business. Make research. Look for business ideas. You don't have, you don't have to have capital to do some of these things. So many things nowadays, lately, uh, are running on the internet. You don't have to have. Uh, you don't have to be there in person. Make friends. Utilize everything around you. It could be the friends. It could be the job you have now. It could be the phone you're possessing right now. Make phone calls. I mean, be. How do they call it? No, it is that. Just don't sit there and be do proactive. nothing. Thank be you. Proactive, yeah. Thank you. Now, this gentleman is a genius. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, look for what to do. Don't sit home, even if it means cleaning people's houses, like I do. Are you looking at me? Do you see how good I look? But would you imagine me cleaning someone's house? I know you would not. But I do. I mean, I look this amazing, but I still clean someone's house. I still wash someone's dishes. Because that is what I love doing. So figure out your passion, do that. Don't wait for someone to come and, you know, push you to do something. Push yourself, be self-motivated. Wake up in the morning, pray, you know, visit your phone, go on internet, what's new, da 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 da, da. Don't just Facebook and WhatsApp the whole entire day. What are you doing? WhatsApping who? Okay, yes, WhatsApp, but let it be something useful don't just spend the whole day playing playstation uh -uh. i play so yes i do me personally <laughs> i do playstation but <laughs> that is in my free time i work my a off i am being very honest with you i work from monday to monday i can decide to have a break yes but i work myself out i'm, I'm being very honest with you so yo be hard working wake up in the morning pray pray at night before you sleep uh listen to your parents Sometimes, yes, sometimes. <laughs> Listen to them sometimes because sometimes they tell us things that are actually. So, yes, be obedient. Listen to your parents. Ask them for uh, support if you need. And I'm sure every parent would definitely love to support their children in the beginning of their businesses. So, utilize whatever you have at your disposal. It would be a very, very good thing. Don't forget to be empathetic. Always put yourself in someone's shoes before you say something, before you do something figure out how it's going to make the other person feel before you do it or before you say it. Please be kind, okay? It's also very, very important. And when you have a business, don't forget to smile, okay? A smile sells your business. When you're talking to a client, smile. Smile for me. <laughs> it's always good to smile, you guys, like for real. Personally, when I meet clients, they're like, oh, I could have a very beautiful smile. So my smile sells me. My smile sells my business. Smile all the time. Be happy. Don't be around people that are sad. Don't be around people that have negative energy. Okay? I think that's all I can say. Yeah. Thank you.